the door. Perfect. Thank you so much. So welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today for our FUSE webinar. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Stephanie Rubin. I'm the Director of Collaboration Business with 2020 Technology. I see some familiar returning attendees, so welcome. Uh, and keep checking our website. Uh, we're going to be having webinars over the next few months uh, covering various topics. We have one coming up in December, and then we're going to take a little pause for the holidays, and we'll pick back up in the new year. Uh, one big piece of news that I wanted to share with everyone is that 2020 Technology is now a part of GCOM, which is based out of New York. We will continue to operate as 2020 Technology for the time being, but in case you see any new communication from me or other folks on my team, uh, if it says GCOM on it, that's due to our acquisition. And we're really excited about that opportunity and, and all the, the new things it will bring us. Uh, for those of you who are new to our webinars, um, just a quick overview of who 2020 Technology is. We are located here in Ashburn, Virginia, just outside Washington, D.C. Uh, our core competencies are helping organizations develop cloud migration strategies and leading domestic and global cloud collaboration deployments since about 2013. Uh, we're longtime partners with Fuse, and we help shape their partner program, and we won their Implementation Partner of the Year last year, so we're really proud and excited to get that. Um, after this webinar, if you'd like to learn more about Fuse's offering, uh, please contact me. I'm going to put my information in the chat as always. And as you can see, this chat is, or this session is being recorded, and we will post it up on our YouTube channel, and I will email out the link so everybody can have that to share as well. On that note, I'm going to turn it over to Fuse. So, Dan, take it away. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. So uh, it's great, great to virtually meet all of you guys. Hope everybody on your end is uh, happy and healthy and uh, getting ready for a good holiday season here. Um, really, we, we wanted to take you guys through some, some updates today uh, on what we're doing with Microsoft and more specifically what we're doing with Microsoft Teams because I think we're seeing a lot of demand for that um, out of the organizations that we've been working with. And, and we hear through partners through like 2020 as well that they're having this conversation every day. Um, and candidly, I think we have a really good story to tell uh, here at Fuse. But before we do that, I wanted to just take you through some of the, the people that are in this, in this webinar right now from the Fuse side. Um, so I, I'm Dan Landis. I have responsibilities for our East Coast Solution Engineering team here at Fuse. Um, so my, my territory that my team covers is everything from Maine down to Florida and then a little bit you know, into the western um, Midwest region. Um, I also have with me uh, Zach Weta. Zach, I'll let you speak for yourself. Absolutely, Dan. Good, good afternoon, everyone. Zach Weta, I'm the Regional Vice President here for Fuse. My team supports all of our current prospective and engaged customers across the Eastern Seaboard. So you'll see a handful of my team on this call today. We appreciate uh, our continued partnership with 2020 Technology and are excited for our conversation here today. Absolutely. And then Michael and Megan, um, I didn't know if you guys wanted to uh, introduce yourselves as well. Hey, yeah. My name is Michael Sparks. I'm the channel director here at Fuse and uh, excited to be here and, and be a resource for all of you as, as you find, uh, find fit. Thanks, Dan. Hi, everyone. My name is Megan Murphy, and I'm Fuse's channel manager for the Mid-Atlantic. So really excited to have everyone here today and looking forward to this presentation with 2020. All right, great guys, thank you. So just to start out, Zach, I'll hand it off to you. Um, we wanted to give everybody a, a base understanding of, of what we do as a company here at Fuse, and then from there we'll go into the Microsoft piece. Absolutely. So for, for all of you that, that, that haven't been exposed to Fuse or, or limited engagement with us prior to this afternoon, so Fuse is an organization as the enterprise-grade cloud-based unified communications provider. And what we view that as is delivering all real-time communications to an organization outside of your email environment. So our solution can really comprise of the three key pillars that you see here on the screen, Call, calling and voice right, being our, our, our foundational offering being dial tone telephony, right? Whether that's delivered through a physical phone at a desk, through a soft phone application, or through our mobile app uh, available on any mobile device. But that transitions into the rest of the real-time world that can include messaging, document sharing, meetings, conferencing, webinars, screen shares, audio conferencing, web conferencing, or video, right, as we're on today. It could also include contact center as well. So your inbound and outbound call centers, 
right, going into the omni-channel experience and being able to support, you know, uh, outbound sales orgs or, or inbound customer service. And all of this is delivered through our through our cloud our cloud offering. And what we're really excited about here at Fuse, as you'll see today, is our, our solution set is 100% our own technology from the ground up. We were incepted back in, in 2006 and have brought this technology to the forefront of enterprise organizations specializing in large scale global delivery and and really helping that transformation right of what we're looking at here because it's 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 so different than ripping out you know a data center in the back and having it switch from a, on a saturday and you know employees come back on a monday and wouldn't know the difference but when you change out someone's phone or the way they communicate and collaborate it, it really becomes an emotional connection so we've really spent a lot of time on on not just the user experience and the and the workflow that you're going to see later today from dan but more about how do we bring your organization your users Right, the, the customers of the IT team along this journey of coming from what it, what it, what is your tech stack today to a more unified holistic experience, and that's what we're going to really spend time with today. And a big part of that is 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 coexistence with other investments, right? And and what you're going to see when it comes to Microsoft is we've invested heavily in that relationship and giving an opportunity for your investment with Microsoft to be bolstered through our robust voice platform and being able to tie into your team's engagement and bring more value to what's already in place with Microsoft. So uh, really excited for the conversations today, excited for, for the Q&A and, and, and any, anything that comes up as we go. We'll be watching the chats as Dan goes along here, um, but, uh, but I'll pass it back to Dan to go into the meat of our, of our content here today. Yep, thank you, Zach. So, and just to add a little bit more to what Zach mentioned, you know, I think you'll see there's some really good complementary um, feature sets between us and Teams. Obviously, Teams is, is great within the Microsoft environment. They're a, great, uh, com they're a great collaboration platform. A lot of organizations are using them for conferencing. Um, but really, when it comes to voice, we get a lot of requests from, from customers and partners in what can Fuse do to enhance their contact center, their calling capabilities, have as much of this under one one single pane of glass as possible, <clears throat> and and make Teams kind of a, a fully rounded UC experience. And I think that's where we we really have a lot of strengths in in the way that we integrate with them. So, just to to give you guys kind of an overall view, uh, Zach mentioned that we're we're focused on global enterprises, and we've been this way since 2006. Um, from a global perspective, I'm sure we have representation on this call from companies that are spread out all across the, the world. Um, so from a data center perspective, uh, we're, we're a, uh, we, we have 10 or we have 12 different data centers around the world, uh, spanning from North America to Latin America to Western Europe, uh, South Africa, um, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Sydney, Australia. Um, now within those data centers, we can reach essentially any part of the world. Uh, and we have, we have partnerships with 50 plus carriers to be able to bring localized services to all those different countries around the world. Uh, in addition to that, for organizations that are bound by carrier contracts or for whatever reason would like to keep their own carrier connections, we also do a, a bring your own carrier model that allows you to interconnect your carriers into our cloud directly. Um, and then on top of that, we have uh, any of these green dots are basically inter network, internet, network interconnect points that would allow you guys to uh, tied directly into our, our network, either privately or through an internet exchange. Um, and another piece that, that the, the 2020 team has worked really well with us on is, is complementary support. So uh, the 2020 team does a lot, of, a lot of support for our mutual clients. And in addition to that, there, there are also fused knock centers located around the world where you see these, uh, these orange labels. So we have five in-house knock centers with Fuse engineering staff available 24-7, um, so you never have to worry about outsourced support. So within the Microsoft environment, we've really done, we've done the most investment out of any technology partner that we have. We've done the most with Microsoft. Um, and the reason for that is that out of the enterprise organizations that we deal with, almost I'd say almost 100% of them are running a Microsoft environment, with some exceptions on, on you know, Google, um, the Google platform. But um, for the, the organizations that we work with, Microsoft's integration is, is usually table stakes and a requirement. And so you'll look at a couple of different categories here, um, from productivity 
tools within Outlook, uh, within browsers, um, within um, all the applications that are within the, the Office suite. And then there's the administrative side of it as well. How do we tie into your security systems? Can we enable it for single sign-on? Can we do automated provisioning out of Active Directory or Azure? Um, and that's all stuff that we, we specialize in and we're, and we're very good at. Um, and then the piece we're going to focus on today is the, the piece of, of collaboration. Um, we have ties into OneDrive for content share, for meeting share. And then we also have a, a really great integration within Teams that allows organizations that have already made their investment in Teams and gotten their, their user base accustomed to Teams and adopting Teams and using it. We, we put you guys in a position where you could take advantage of the robustness of the Fuse Voice platform and the Fuse Contact Center platform and even the Fuse Meetings platform, if you'd like, um, on top of Teams as, uh, as, as a plug-in or as a, an official Microsoft um, direct routing integration. So to that point, I wanted to talk through the, the options that we have uh, here at Fuse. You know, we, we believe in really um, – giving solutions that, that meet the requirements of customers that we're working with. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, if you guys are already on uh, an E1 or an E3 license and you're not interested in, in upgrading your, your Microsoft licensing to accommodate a phone system, uh, there are some solutions out there that will require you to upgrade to E3 plus a phone system or E5 licensing just to be able to do an integration between telephony and a, a team system. We don't necessarily believe that's the best approach in all cases, and so we actually have a, a dual-sided approach. Um, on one hand, if you're if you're already licensed with Microsoft E5 uh, or E3 plus phone system, um, you could take advantage of the direct routing platform that that's available in the Microsoft platform, and and Fuse can Fuse can tie directly into that and be your uh, your voice provider, your carrier on the back end. And Microsoft takes over the uh, the responsibilities of phone system configuration and call routing and, and uh, all those pieces of it. Uh, but it does have some some additional costs, some licensing implications on the Microsoft side, and it also splits the responsibility of the SLA between Fuse and Microsoft. You don't have to listen to. Can you go into your email? Uh, somebody's talking in the background. Hey, everybody. Speak them out and, yeah. and mute them. Yeah, please make sure you're muted. I just, yep, I um, just did it. Thanks. All right, thanks, Zach. So, so for organizations that have already made the investment in this level of Microsoft licensing, um, you know, it, financially it may not be as much of a, a hurdle, but there is still an SLA consideration. Um, you know, in most cases, the Microsoft SLA is, is three nines versus the traditional five nines you get with the telephony provider. And so for that reason, we're seeing a lot of organizations say that's, you know, there's a little bit too much risk in, in that direction. And we'd actually prefer to go with a, a pure play um, UCAS provider, telephony provider like Fuse. And so that's where option number one becomes really appealing. And I think, you know, we're seeing a lot of, um, a lot of interest in the market from this, from this perspective. Um, so Fuse has, has invested in, doing a, 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 in building an integration within um, the Teams marketplace, within AppSource. So you guys can go in. It's publicly available. You can download it. And it ties your, your Fuse uh, credentials directly into Teams. And what it allows you to do is generate phone calls from Teams, um, start a meeting from Teams, a Fuse meeting from Teams if, if you're licensed to do so. Uh, you can do one-on-one -on -one conversations, group conversations. And um, I think the demo will probably illustrate it best. But the, the key is that you don't need to have um, any kind of specific Microsoft licensing to do this. Uh, even if you're just on E1 or E3 licensing, there's no additional investment required. And contractually, you still have the 5.9's SLA that, um, that Fuse offers to all of our customers. So, you know, there's, there's some tangible differences between these two, but just know that we're, we're good at both of these areas. Um, and, and if you're looking at other platforms and other solutions, just kind of knowing the landscape and understanding the caveats of going one direction or the other, I think is important. So, before we get into the q and I'm going to stop my screen share right here, and I'll, I'll give you guys a quick demo of the Teams integration itself. Well, while Dan's pulling that up, I just think that's such an important point that, that Dan touched on here before we move into the demo, right? Uh, the, the experience you're about to see 
does not require additional licensing from Microsoft, does not require additional phone licensing from Microsoft. If you are a Fuse user and have a Teams credential, this integration you're about to see is fully functional. It's so important to understand that differentiation and, and, our, and our friends at 2020 can help you understand this with our, com with our competitors, but th that is not the story for a lot of the other main UCAS providers that you may be reviewing if you're doing an evaluation of this technology. They're gonna require additional costs. They're gonna require you to do direct routing experiences, which require massive upticks in costs, not to mention a massive degradation in your SLAs and your experience and quality of the voice the voice traffic through your team's experience. So we can discuss this more, and if there are questions, please throw them in the chat, but I just think that's such an important topic to bring up, and you're gonna see an experience today unlike anything you've seen before, because this we're, we're, we're the first to market that has this type of experience without a direct routing integration. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and it's worth mentioning that what we're gonna show you today exists within uh, Teams, the installed Teams app, Teams for the web, and Teams mobile. So really no difference across those platforms in terms of the, uh, the functionality that you're gonna get. <clears throat> so you'll, you'll see this, this is kind of a, a generic team setup, and um, I have some content in here, I have some conversations, some teams that I've been working with. Um, so Fuse, once it's installed, you'll have a, a Fuse tab over here, and we'll go into that in a second. Um, but if I'm, in a, if I'm in a conversation with an individual like Zach, for instance, you'll see I have this little fuse button down here at the bottom. And when I click on this, it's going to allow me to communicate with Zach using uh, my fuse voice credentials. Um, so I can choose a certain phone number that I'd like to call Zach on. And it's basically pulling Zach from our fuse directory. And it's, it's correlated with Active Directory already. So it knows who Zach is in the Microsoft world and in the fuse world. And it's saying, all right, let's, let's connect to Zach. Um, so I could click right here, make a phone call. And that, that call is going to generate through one of my Fuse endpoints. Actually, let me uh, take myself off of Do Not Disturb real quick because I'm, uh, since I'm screen sharing, it's, uh, it's stopping my phone call. Here we go. There we go. So when I make the call out to out to Zach, I just have this little mini controller right here, which is the which is part of the Fuse platform, um, and it, gener it you can control your call from right here. I could click right here and go into the F the full Fuse app if I wanted to. Um, but while I'm on this, I have my conversation. I'm still using Teams. You know, I'm, I'm still using Teams as my my central base for all of this. Uh, but I'm just adding this voice capability to the side of it. So I'm going to hang up this call with Zach. Now, let's go into a team, and I'll show you how I can do the same thing with a group of people. So I have this team right here. I have a number of people in this group. We've been having a conversation. If I pull it up in the context of a group, you'll see I have access to all these phone numbers right here. And I could go through the same, work th the same workflow for all these individuals or even type a phone number in here and, and call somebody else. And then the final piece, and I think this is the piece that Zach was, uh, was indicating pretty heavily there, was you know, we, we're really the first in the industry to tie our directory right into Teams and tie in our presence and tie in our, our native dial pad and everything else within Teams. Um, you know, there's, there are a lot of different competitive solutions out there in the market, and I think you'll see some that, that will kind of over, creatively overlay a dial pad or creative over, creatively overlay some stuff within the, the Teams browser interface. Um, but within the Teams mobile interface and the Teams installed desktop client, uh, we believe we are the first to, uh, to be able to do this as well. So, you know, when you, when you look at this, I could very easily come in here. I could type in a number and call it. And this essentially becomes my, my soft phone within Teams. Um, it's still going to generate the audio through your, your, your Fuse endpoint, whether that's a physical phone, your mobile device, your Fuse desktop app. But Teams remains your home base for all this stuff. Um, I could also search for contacts. So if I search for Zach right here, I get all the Zachs within the company or within my directory. And it also gives me real-time presence 
based on what their availability is. So I know Zach is in a meeting right now, but um, I could call him or do a video call with him directly if I wanted to. So that, that's the core of the, the functionality. And like I mentioned, really our, our goal here is to give companies and give users that have already made the investment in, the investment in Teams uh, the ability to take advantage of uh, more mature voice features, contact center features within the Fuse environment um, without having to sacrifice the user experience that you've already invested in. So if you've already gone through training and gone through user enablement with Teams, we don't need to upset the apple cart to, uh, to get you on the Fuse platform. All right, so I'll pause right here. I know we have about seven minutes left here, but what's the... Uh, did we want to go to some questions at this point, Stephanie? I'm sorry, say that again? Did, did we want to go to some questions at this point? Uh, sure. Um, if anybody has a question, feel free to unmute or you can type it in the chat. I have a question. Sure. So uh, we at DBSync are running teams right now. One of our big challenges, one for me at least, is the, the way that we do our calling from teams. Um, there's so many different buttons. I, I see Fuse as being a very uh, useful tool to bypass all the different things we have to do in teams. Um, what, what would be the, how easy would it be to deploy Fuse uh, clients into teams for, for uh, phone communications? It's, it's an easy process. So, um, I mean, I think what, what you're indicating is pretty familiar to us. Rolling out a voice solution can be a lot more complex than rolling out um, just a simple collaboration tool like Teams. And so uh, Microsoft, frankly, is just not the easiest when it comes to rolling that out, but that's what, that's what we specialize in. And so what we would do is uh, we would roll out our uh, Fuse voice licensing to you, and we have a, an entire project and, and an enablement team that would work with you guys to make sure that goes smoothly. And then the process of tying it into Teams is, is really pretty simple. Somebody who, who manages your Microsoft environment could install the Fuse plugin for all of the Teams users, and um, they'd be prompted to type in their Fuse credentials to connect it into Microsoft. And once, that, once that's in place, they'll have the functionality that I just went through. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're on a Azure three, uh, Microsoft 360 platform as well. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Any other questions? Anything specific anybody would like to see about the integration that maybe we didn't cover? Hi, so I have a question. Sure. Sure. Um, so we have uh, two different buttons here, one for uh, whatever the person has for a Microsoft phone number, and we also have the fuse button. So yep. on an outbound dial, what's the caller ID, the caller A and I, is it going to be the fuse number? Is it going to be the, um, the Microsoft number? Is it whichever one you're picking, that's the number you're going to de be delivering? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. So in the setup that I have right here, we, there essentially is no uh, Microsoft phone number. They would have, users in Teams would still have the ability to communicate with each other directly through Teams if they wanted to, but Fuse becomes the phone system for internal and external uh, phone number communication, essentially. So if I wanted to call from my, my business phone number, that number exists on Fuse, and it's always going to send that as the caller ID. Um, whether I'm whether I'm calling internally or externally. Okay, thanks. Yep, you're welcome. Next question. Well, we still got three minutes. Uh, are you sure you don't have any questions, <laughs> Dan? Did you have anything else you wanted to cover? I don't think there's anything else specific that I wanted to cover here. Um, I mean, there's there's obviously a lot more in the Fuse platform that we would love to show you guys, but that's that's more of an in, on an individual basis. And so, you know, I'll just I'll throw the the advertisement out there that we're happy to jump on a follow up call with any of you, and uh, and give you a much more in depth view of the, the Fuse product and talk about what some of your needs might be. 
Absolutely. And just a reminder, my information's in the chat, and I'll follow up this webinar uh, with an email uh, with the link to the recording to share. And then, of course, if you guys have any other questions or if you'd like to have a follow-up demo about the FUSE application, just let me know, and we'll get that, that scheduled. And then everybody can have three minutes back to your lunch. So thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you, right. thank you very much. Thanks, that everybody. Was insightful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Absolutely. Take care.